Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm your chef, the Kenyan sister today. I went some shopping. I'll show you some of the things I bought so I can just show you, you know, a little bit of the journey about the things I bought before I can cook pizza for you. Just let's pray. Let's pray it turns out okay, okay? Let's pray it turns out okay. So let me just turn the camera so I can show you the things that I actually bought. I went shopping, some of the things I already had, but I just bought some today and yeah, let's do this. These are the items that I bought. I bought some spicy pork sausages. Some people could use this. I'm not very sure I'll be using this today because I have a lot of toppings. Um, uh, bacon, I'm not using bacon at all. I think this too, I'm going to freeze them. And this is uh, beef polony. This, I also bought it. I think I'm going to be using this. I'm going to slice it or dice it up so I can use some pieces of that. I love salamis, Hungarian salamis. Uh, first time I'm using the Hungarian one. The last time I used the garlic salami. So let me see what would be the difference if the test would still be the same. So yeah, I'll be using Hungarian salamis. And yeah, I bought some mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese is what is commonly used to make uh, pizza, but I also put Parmesan. Parmesan, I think it's called Parmesan. Parmesan, well, correct me the spelling, the pronunciation. Anyway, I'm going to Google after this so I can know how it's pronounced correctly. So Parmesan cheese, sounds weird. Anyway, this one is also used to make, this is more expensive than this one. This costs more. Uh, the price of this one is almost, like the say equivalent of this but yes this is 500 grams and this is uh, 100 grams then i also bought some yeast i like this package run so i can just use one at a go instead of oh, the other big package run so yeah so these are the items i bought but previously i had used this flour so i have this flour my favorite flour i think a lot of kenyans love this flour Ajab, they love this flour for chapatis mandazis so i'm going to use it to make the pizza base and i have some you know toppings here some bell peppers green red yellow i'm going to use the white onion tomato i'm going to actually get need more tomatoes and bell peppers because i'm going to make the pizza paste myself and um I, this is beef this is beef so maybe i will not use this and this because i'm going to boil the beef and prepare it for that so this is going to take quite some time because i have to start from zero from making the pizza dough and all that but yeah let's get straight into the video some salt some sugar
Okay, so you warm the water a little bit. It's a little bit warm. So you won't need to use much water. So here's my mixture. There's yeast in this. Put some olive oil. Just a little bit. A little bit of olive oil. So basically, this is the dough. As you can see. So next, you're going to cover it so that it can rise so next here is my beef that i bought out to wash it well so next i'll be preparing my pizza paste that word is hard to say pizza paste so wow look at how this is coming along can you see how big it has become i don't know if you can see this but it's really swelling awesome so i have three bell peppers you can you know you can just some people just use tomatoes but i love to use uh to add bell pepper so i have this this and this then i have uh two garlic cloves some people use more garlic i don't like more garlic and then i have the white onion and i also have uh some tomatoes so them as topping so these ones that are circular i'm going to use them on the topping of the pizza because that's how i love i love the taste of onions especially particularly this white onion so this is going to make the topping but these ones i'm blending so i'm crying so the first thing we put we have onions in the blender Let me put them here. I'll use them at their time. Put a little water. Yeah. So next we're going to make our paste so let's turn on the cooker on low heat don't put high heat use low heat then put some olive oil 
For some people, at this point, they chop tiny, tiny pieces of this onion and put it, but I don't feel like putting it because I already put it in there, in this blended mixture. But, well, next time I will try that. I don't know if I do. Sometimes I sing about the... That's the progress of my beef. So once it becomes thick, just switch off. So let's find out how far our dough is. Oh my goodness, this is, look at how big it is now. Remember the small tiny ball we had? It's now this big. So the next stage will be grating the mozzarella cheese. And you see, I've already prepared all the toppings off camera. I also prepared some slices of tomatoes. So yeah, tomatoes, onions, the bell peppers, and everything is almost ready before i can roll and make the pizza bath and yeah here is our what we just boiled i prefer buying this one because it's cheaper and um you chop it and then you grate it on your own alternatively at the supermarket you can get one that is already grated but it's expensive so yeah is the piece that I'm going to be using today and here is our grater I lost my other grater so today I'll be using this one it's quite tough but if you can have that standalone grater the better the one that you don't have to the one that stands like this so I'll be using this one for today but they were bad days too standing out really good Oh, I don't know if you can see this. Come on, focus. Yes, this is how it's turning out to be. And this is how you find the grated one looking like in the supermarket. So next, we're going to be rolling the dough. And as you can see, this is how our dough looks. And I know love is like the phases of the moon. See how it's freezing. And I know going to take half of it to roll but so that you have to put this flour so that it does not stick so Well, here's my pizza base and I covered it so that it can rise and you can have like, um, you know, a thick crust. And yes, now here is the paste that you boiled. This, some of it is here. So here's the paste. Oh my goodness, look at how good it looks. Next, we're going to put our mozzarella cheese. Remember the grated one? That one. Clear, 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 clear. Yep. This is the mozzarella cheese. We're going to put, put some good amount of cheese. You want it to be dripping. For some people, they love a lot of cheese. And some people love um, some little cheese. So put the amount that you love. Okay, I think this is enough cheese for me. So next, I'm going to put some salamis. Yep, the salami is Hungarian salami. Mm. It's ready to cook, ready to eat. So it's, you know, you can. Ah. <laughs> so sweet. Mm. Then some poloni. It's also cooked, ready to eat. So I sliced it into pieces like this. I mean, it's a pizza. You can choose whatever you want to use as topping. So. And I know love is like the phases of the 
of the moon mm-hmm. And I know You would say I gave up way too soon mm-hmm. Some parmesan cheese This one you just sprinkle a little bit of it It really has a nice taste You can use this mixed herbs this one contains um this is this contains oregano sage basil thyme and marjoram but i you can still use just oregano so for today mm, i don't know i'm gonna use just oregano you can put some black pepper just a little bit sprinkle some black pepper well this is how it looks before I put it in the oven so yeah let's do this twenty minutes later so our pizza I guess it is ready by now Here is our pizza. Let me see. Here's our pizza. This is the final product. Let me know what you think. A little bit too much heat, but for my second attempt, I think I did good enough. I'm proud of myself, in fact.